Now let us take question number 21 to 30. So the, in the first question saying the order in order to code n operations in binary one needs x bit such that. So generally with the help of x bits we can make 2 raised to power x combination and we can give one combination to each and every operation. So the number of combinations can be more than the number of operations. Number of combinations can be exactly equal to the number of operations but number of combinations cannot be less than the number of operations. B but it means, it means that let us suppose you have four balls. Okay. And these four balls, uh, we need to give one combination to each and every ball. Right. So we can use 3 bit to give the address, we can give use 2 bit to give the address but we cannot use 1 bit to give the address of every ball. That means, let us say if you have only 1 bit then with the help of 1 bit only 2 combinations are possible. With the help of 2 bits, 4 combinations are possible. So we can give 1 combination to this, 1 combination to this, 1 combination to this and 1 combination to this. So again we can address each and every ball uniquely. But even if you have 3 bits, or any number of bits which is more than 2, we can give unique address to each and every ball. In the same way, if there are n operations, then if we have uh, 2 raised to power x greater than n, then again we can give unique uh, unique uh, combination to each and every operation, then this is also valid and this is also valid, but this cannot be valid. Now I feel that the op options given here is wrong, option number b, c, d and is wrong, and option number a, there is some kind of printing mistake because they should have given 2 raised to power x is equal to n. Okay, then option number A will be a correct answer. Okay, now let us see option number 2, 22. Question number 22, it is saying a sequence of machine language instructions to solve a problem is known as. So because it is a sequence of machine language instructions, even if it is a sequence or even if it is a set, then that becomes a machine language program. So option number A, B and D is not a correct answer. Option number C is a correct answer because it is machine language program. It is not an application program or system program. Now let us look at this one, they are saying the binary equivalent of number minus 15 with base 10. Now if you want to represent minus 15 for 2's complement, this minus 15 only exists if the number of bits we have is 5. Okay, So we need to have 5 bits represent minus 15. So to represent it let us take first of all uh, plus 15, so plus 15 can be represented by 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is representing plus 15. Now if you want to represent minus 15 that means you have to take 2's complement of this. So to take 2's complement first find 1's complement. So 1's complement of this number is 1 0 0 0 0 and then find 2's complement of this number that will be 1 0 0 0 1. So this is representing minus 15 in case of binary. Therefore the answer to this problem is option number A for the question number 23. Now next is saying what is a boolean, uh, this boolean function is equivalent to, actually this is directly they are asking De Morgan's law. So De Morgan's law says that if you have a plus b whole complement then that can be written as a complement dot b complement and if you have a dot b whole complement then that can be written as a complement plus b complement. So here option number b is the correct answer for the question number 24. Now let us see the next question. So the universal logic gates are. Universal logic gates means the gates with the help of which you can create each and every combination uh, in uh, th that is there. Okay, you can create each and every combination, right? So here, uh, AND and OR are not universal gate because with the help of AND and OR you cannot create NOT. Cannot create NOT. So because you cannot create NOT, so you cannot create NAND and you cannot create NOR. So AND and OR are not universal. NAND and NOR are universal gates because you can represent each and every gate with the help of NAND and NOR. So with AND and OR you cannot even create XOR or you cannot create XNOR. But with the help of NAND and NOR you can create each and every gate or you can represent equivalent uh, each and every gate with the help of a combination of NAND and NOR. With the help of option number C, uh, C when I am saying NAND and OR. With the help of NAND and OR and even NAND and AND, they are not universal gates because you will not be able to create some of the combinations. And for this, I think you should refer the topic which is functionally complete, functionally complete gates in digital logic. In digital logic, there is a uh, fun functionally complete Boolean function that I have created in the digital logic subject. Just go through this and then you will be able to understand this properly. Now, 
For question number 26, the Boolean function x plus y z is equivalent to which of the following? x plus y z. x plus y z, again you can apply distributivity law here. Distributivity law says x plus y dot x plus z is a correct answer. Okay. So here option number A is the correct answer for this question 26. Now for this question 27, as you can see we have the options here. So question number 27 says the exclusive or that is a plus a x or b is equivalent to so a x or b is actually equivalent to a complement b plus a b complement okay now that is not uh, i think that is not given in any of the options but i feel uh, so the answer is option number d that is none of the above because a complement b plus a b complement uh, is not given but what if the question is like this that is huh, so this is the correct answer correct so now in the next question they are saying the boolean function this is equivalent to which of the following so this boolean function is saying a plus b dot a b whole complement now here you can apply de morgan's law so this can be written as a plus b dot a complement plus b complement now you can open these brackets so it can be written as a dot a complement plus a dot b complement plus b dot a complement plus b dot b complement now these two functions here it is a presenting zero here it is a presenting zero so we have only this term left which is a dot b complement plus b dot a complement which is again representing a x or b therefore the option number b is the correct answer which is a x or b for this question number 28 now for the question number 29 they are saying that which gate is not a logically complete one logically complete not is a logically complete it is not a logically complete it is not logically complete nand is a logically complete so nand gate is logically complete in every sense okay now let us look at next set of questions